Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Chronicon. My name is Wilfred. So, in this episode, I'd like to share with you what I've learned when it comes to theory crafting on this game. Now, a lot of you follow my channel in the past for Marvel Heroes because you enjoy uh, how we uh, theory theory craft together, crunch numbers together, and figure things out together. And uh, for Chronicon, it is pretty straightforward to uh, to learn that too. It's not that hard, and that's why I love about this game. There's a lot of transparency when it comes to the stats behind it, and uh, and you can use the mathematics to guide you through certain decision, be it as a gear or mastery or skill. Um, so in this video, I'm focusing on the damage the uh, side of the house. Now, um, I'm using a warlock as example, so I'm not going to go into the build too much, but to, to look into the numbers behind it, all right? So now, when it comes to a warlock build, and I've shared with you in a couple of videos before, uh, for particularly this uh, thorn build, if you look at the muscle kissed kind of set, uh, set bonus two, you notice that all bone skill have their damage increased by 25% of thorns. So that's the first question first is that, how big is that really? I mean, is it really significant? Or is it just something kind of like, you know, it's a waste of energy, you know, to gear thorns? What shall I do with it, right? So that's number one. Now, of course, another question that I have, you know, long time ago is also, uh, should I use a retaliation set? Uh, you know, should I get at 50% of my damage to thorns? And what would that translate to? Would that be an advantage doing that? So that's another question there. Now, if you look at the skill tree itself, um, and, and, and one more question or a couple more questions is that, well, I could put the remaining of the mastery point on damage, right? Make my uh, warlock pretty powerful there or I could put my remaining kind of like points in the thorns as well uh, what should I be doing uh, should I put, invest in thorns because you know who knows the thorn could be really powerful should I not in, invest in thorns and put in damage through the retaliation set give me the thorns right so yeah that's another point to think about now last but not the least another point to think about is this note here I can use dark thorns which kind of like um, transform my thorns into shadow damage it means quite a big deal quite a big difference because my shadow damage is uh is 570 or 30 percent and that would be like uh, multiplied by five times or thorn is it really worth it or should i do something like um, this one here so i increase my bane power by 15 percent and it's also quite a big deal because 15 percent is a flat kind of like addition to whatever bane damage bonus i've got another 15 percent and uh, I, I will increase it from uh, i believe 125 into say 140 right so it is an increase there and if you look at my you know uh, power laid out this is a bane power bone synth is a bane power uh, bone sphere is a bane power uh, life rip is a bane power and last but not the least the bone storm is a bane power so with all this in mind um, shall i be you know shall i be gearing for thorn how 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 important thorn is uh, shall i put my mastery in thorns or damage or shall i just like you know uh, shall i also pick a note that thorn or the other one so th with all this in mind the only thing we can rely on of course is number or if we can experiment right you can you can try to like you know just play and see which one you feel more powerful but feeling can be kind of like um you know not very scientific when it comes to number crunching so i'd like to share with you how we do it right so now uh the first thing first is that i'm using one one power to to focus on to share with you uh what it means uh with regard to all this number crunching the power i'm using is bone synth right and and you forget all the mumbo jumbo there uh the first thing first very important to look into bone sync is that it's a shadow power it does bane it has a bane tag bone tag and nova tag to it right now if you take away all the gears if you reset the mastery pawn the design of bone synth is 800 percent it means that um, 800 percent it does 800 percent of damage but what does that mean 800 percent within the bracket there's an actual number there but how do you derive that i guess that is the the whole kind of like point about this video is that i'm i'm showing you how you derive the number in the bracket there right now 800 percent is what we have uh, when you take away all the gear and reset all the mastery pawn but twelve thousand is what you have once you put all the gear back in and you get the buff to your bane damage, the bone skill as well as nova skill, and you end up with 12,000% instead of 800%. So that's really important because it saves you all the trouble and try to add the numbers together. Oh, where do I have the bane 
damage? Where do I have the bone damage? Where do I have the nova damage? So you don't have to do that. You just focus on, on the uh, on, on the part about the uh, the number there, right? So now, how do you derive this number? You know, pretty straightforward. Uh, first thing first, there's a flat damage, right? Whatever flat damage you have here, that is a flat damage for your 3,000, you know, that is a flat damage. Now, um, the flat damage is one that you should pay attention to. Another one is shadow damage here, because I'm doing shadow, shadow, shadow damage. The third one to, to pay attention to, of course, is the the gear damage, right? The uh, the so called the you know twelve thousand percent, which inc incorporating all the bane, buff, bone buff, nova buff, and what have you, right? So that is the first thing first. Another thing to to note is that um, you know when it comes to theory theory crafting like this, the procs is, is, is important because before the procs comes in, uh, the thorn doesn't go up that high. Now let me just show you to you what what I mean by that. If you take a look at the thorn right now, it's three point four million. Now let me just start to get uh, get more soul. So this is soul. When I teleport, I get soul. Now you can see that the uh, the thorn goes up to 4.7, 5 million, right? So 5 million is, is what I have. But that is not really a true thorn. The true thorn is when I start to do damage and you'll see all the buff come up. So what are these buff, right? So this one here, uh, increase my, my, my thorn by 250%. This one here, will actually increase my thorn by 450%. So all of a sudden, because of all this buff that you're running around, you actually increase the thorn to 74.9 million and also increasing your damage accordingly as well. So when you do theory crafting, it's very important to capture all this uh, on the fly because you know it, it will start to come down as, as I lose the buff and so on and so forth. So that's what I've done. I play certain scenario, capture the number, and I try to see whether I've got the number right and uh happy to announce that you know i get it right uh because i'll show you in just a bit of how the number gel together now remember i said that you know there's a damage there which is flat damage the shadow damage that's what you have thorns is all, what's on the squash sheet uh the tagging is what we have bane bone over the base damage is when i strip off all the gear when i strip off all the uh, mastery point this is what i have the gear damage is the one that incorporating all the tags and that is the one that I have there. Now, how do I calculate the skill damage is true, very straightforward. Damage multiplied by the shadow damage multiplied by the gear damage will become, become the skill damage. That is by calculation. Now, am I right or am I wrong? Well, you know, that is, uh, that is a good question. So what I've done is that I take a look at the mean and max of it, average them out. 19.6, what, 19.6, a million is pretty much matching with what I have here uh, on, the, on the game. But then very importantly when it comes to theory crafting is that you have got to uh, have multiple scenarios to, to verify whether you are doing the right calculation or not. So what I've done is that I've done one that before the buff, you know, uh, with no ultimate. Another one is after I've done the buff with ultimate, but I strip away the, some of the mastery. And then I look at the numbers that, well, you know, that is pretty very close. 15.9 million versus 15.9 millions. There are some discrepancies there. I suppose it's some running error somewhere, you know, in the game that I couldn't capture those, like, you know, number uh, specifically. But, uh, but that's pretty close. Another one is quite close. It's like, okay, so what happened if I, you know, uh, put all the mastery into damage uh, versus the mastery into thorns? Uh, with the plus 15% bane damage, what 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 is what would the skill damage be like? Well, 54,000, uh, 4 million here, uh, again, is very, very close. So suffice to say, once I see something like that, I'm pretty confident that I've got the formula right, because otherwise it would not match in under different circumstances, I'm picking up different car mastery notes and so on. So I'm really happy about it. Now, another thing I notice is that the number you've seen in, uh, in, in, the, in, in the game here, let me go back to the game. The number you see here, the min and max number, 27 million, 37 million, does not include the thorn damage dealt uh, with the, uh, with, with, from the set itself. So remember, the set bonus 2, it says that all bones skill have their damage increased by 25% of thorn. Initially, I thought that 25% of thorn is being incorporated into the number, but then as I play, as I like, hmm, the number doesn't add up. It doesn't seem to make sense. No matter how hard I gear, change the scenario, some of this number just doesn't make sense. So I realized one thing is that whatever number you see on the skill here is not affected by the set on the set bonus itself when it says that the, uh, the set will increase the bone skill by a certain amount. So that means that I have to take the thorn damage or thorn contribution from the set itself 
into a different formula. And that's exactly what I've done. So what I've done is that I separate the thorn into a thorn contribution. So I've got the uh, the skill damage, uh, which I've got it from you know the skill, and I've got it from the set itself, which is a thorn contribu contribution from the set, which is 25% of the thorn add onto the, 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 the bone damage itself. So it becomes something like that. So now, what what can I draw from here? Maybe I just jump to a conclusion here is that uh, the very important thing to note is this number, the green number is where you should compare. So if I compare, say, um, you know, uh, using the 15% bane kind of like a mastery note, but all the remaining mastery land onto uh, damage versus all the remaining um, kind of like damage, uh, sorry, pawns land on the thorn, you can see that the total damage kind of substantially decreased uh, from the 50 9 million uh, into 35 million. So first thing first, it's not worth it to put all the mastery point on the thorns at all. Just uh, land it on the damage and you buff both the thorn and the skill damage uh, simultaneously. Simultaneously, so that's that's good. Now another thing that you know to to, to note is that if I do fifteen percent bane, right, meaning that I don't really you know pay attention to the uh, the other one, which shadow thorn. The contribution from the from thorn is actually very low. You're talking about only about less than ten percent of it. Is you may even question, does it is it, is it does it even worth it uh, to gear for thorn because like you know less than ten percent contribution to my to my total kind of like uh, uh, damage. It doesn't seem to to be to be to be worth it. So what I've done is that well let's let's change the, 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 the mindset a little bit, right? What about if I, if I don't pick the 15% Bane, but instead pick the Shadow Thorn, means that my Thorn will be buffed by the Shadow Damage instead, so 5.7 times. So that's why you see the Thorn uh, go up you know, in, 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 a, in a pretty pretty interesting way. And uh, so I've done that, and uh, guess what? You know, my, my overall damage went down, uh, because the fact that I lose the fifteen percent bane damage, so as you can see that the uh, skill damage from here to there is uh, it, it went down, right? Uh, but then because of my thorn contribution, it actually went up by thirteen percent. So by picking the mastery note of the uh, shadow thorn, um, you know my my power actually went up by thirteen percent uh, compared to say if I if I pick this bane power. Now. Um, you know, and, and, and the thorn contribution now start to go up because now it become like 27.8%, like, you know, close to one third of the, uh, well, not one third, close more than a quarter of the damage contributed from the thorn itself, making the thorn build kind of worthwhile. So, I mean, you know, so that is, uh, that is another point that, um, you know, I've noticed and, uh, and, and, you know, kind of interesting. Now, you know, it doesn't stop here, uh, although it does tell you that, and it tell myself that, well, I think I've done the right thing. I think it is good to um, to pick the shadow thorn uh, to to so called get uh, my character to be more powerful, but the but the question still remain though because if I go for all the thorns, and uh, you know gear for thorns are some of my secondary kind of like uh, fixes, uh, you know have my retaliation set and so on and so forth uh, to further buff my thorn, um, and and the runes as well. Is it really, does it really worth it because you are increasing only by 30% compared to say, you know, uh, somewhere over here? Um, so, but, but I mean, that could be a question for another day, uh, another kind of like churning number. But oh no, I mean, I'm happy with what I have right now and I will fall further to see how much I can push for the thorn. And uh, as you can see, I mean, you know, theory crafting is a lovely journey. There's a lot of like, you know, uh, when you resolve something, you feel really happy, but it's always unresolved question that propel you, propel you to uh, another kind of like dimension when it comes to uh, crunching a number and say, oh, what if I do that now? I can do that now. What if I do like that? What if I change the way that my, uh, uh, what, what if I do some swapping between my creep you know, because my crit right now is 88%, and uh, maybe I should sacrifice some of my, some of my crit, put it into crit hit damage, or maybe I should look into whether I should use a shadow damage uh, you know, for my affixes, or should I not? Because you can see that all these affixes can be chosen by me, you know. Um, so so that, I mean, you know, it can go on and on, but uh, I think I'm really happy that with this, I'm confident um, um, we can, I can, I, I and as, as well as you as well, who, who, whoever you are that is into the, uh, wherever you are who is into all the number, we have the confidence to uh, to create a build of your own. All right, thanks for watching and happy to answer any question you may have uh, below in the comment box. Uh, talk to you again soon. Goodbye.